everyone. Welcome to Lawrence High School's annual Senior Awards Banquet. Uh, before we begin tonight, will you please all rise for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. So tonight we'll be honoring seniors who have served as role models these past four years uh, and are being honored tonight for their extracurricular involvement, academic achievement, volunteerism, and outstanding character. As seniors, we recognize how integral this LHS community has been to our successes and would like to thank our family, friends, teachers, and administrators for supporting us through this journey. So to kick things off, it is my pleasure to introduce our wonderful principal, Dr. Dauber. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. It's my pleasure to be here tonight on our 2015 Senior Awards event. Congratulations to all of you, the class of 2015. As you know, we are two weeks, two weeks away from graduation. <clears throat> yeah, two weeks away from right now, actually at the Sunbank Arena, and I know you're all looking forward to it. It'll be extra special for me, given my history with many, many of you going back to when you were eight, nine years old as fourth graders. So it's very special. As for your parents, I'm sure, and it's just as sweet for myself, have, having had the opportunity to be with you for so many years. So I don't want to talk too long. We've got a lot of wonderful things, but I want to congratulate all of you before we even begin on all of your work, not only for this year, for the recognition that you're about to receive, for a variety of different things, but also for all of your hard work since you've been so young and now becoming young adults and heading off to the next stages of your life. So if you would join me, we are going to move right in. Our first awards, we begin with the American Legion Americanism Awards. If you would give a warm round of applause for Mr. Pete Raddus. Good evening, and congratulations to all the seniors, their parents, and all the people who helped them on this long journey of some 13 years to get where you are now. I know I don't have to ask you, but don't forget how you got here. It may be difficult to remember, but you have to remember from your kindergarten teacher to the teachers in your 12th grade, never forget the teachers, never forget the administrators, never forget the people who made you come to this point with the success that you enjoy. Your parents, your guardians, your grandparents, whomever they may be, made it possible. So I ask you never to forget them, okay? That's all we can ask. On behalf of the American Legion Post 414 in Lawrence Township, I have the great honor to present to the seniors who have been awarded various prizes by the American Legion. Got to put my glasses on, I can't see. <laughs> the American Legion Each year gives an award for Americanism. And this year, we have two awards for Americanism. And I hope I pronounce your name correctly, young lady. Gina Gutierrez 
and, and Christopher Price. I guess I'm getting a little slow, but uh, I'm a retired gentleman of 87 years old, and I appreciate what you have done. I have the scholarship awards for three worthy people, I guess you would say that. Jacob. Miller, Mr. Miller here, Bryce Maloney, Brandon Hardgraves. Uh, again, Jacob Miller. I guess we'll have to mark him absent. In closing, I, I'd like to, I'm sorry, we have a uh, in closing, I'd like to ask you young people who have the good fortune to have a great principal for a number of years who is leaving you. I, I think he deserves your applause. Where's your principal? He's, uh, he's a great person, and you should follow some of his... Uh, his common sense approach uh, that will make a better world for you. Before I, I close, I'd like to say one other thing. In my office, in my home, I have a poster that someone gave me many years ago. I can't remember the years. And it's a picture, a portrait of a, of a young person. And the wording, the inscription on the portrait says, I know I am somebody, cause God don't make no junk. Thank you and God bless you. The American Legion has another award for Mrs. Sermelli is going to present it. I'm very honored to present an award named for my husband, Mark Cervelli Jr., who uh, was a member of Post 414 and dedicated a lot of his life to this township and to doing a lot of community service for all of you. And um, I'm so glad that his memory is remembered every year in giving out an award to somebody who's deserving. And this year it goes to Kyle Dougal. Good evening. <clears throat> my name is Mark Litowitz. Tonight it is my honor to present the Selma Litowitz Award for attaining the highest level of success in all aspects of language arts to Marifred Evans. <laughs> Before I do so, allow, allow me to congratulate all the graduates 
and wish you all success and happiness as you go forth. This award that I present is named in honor of my wife, Selma, who taught here at LHS for many years. She loved teaching, she loved her students, and were she here tonight, she would be as proud of Mara Fred as are her parents, her teachers, and her fellow students. So Mara Fred, I now present you with the 2015 Selma Littlewitz English Award, along with a small token of congratulations from Mrs. Littlewitz's family. We wish you much success and happiness in your future endeavors. Good evening, friends. My daughters, Sandeep and Neeti, and my wife, Bhupinder, and I are here to honor the memories of our beloved family member, Kamal Bathala, whom we lost in 1993. And Kamal was a respect, respectful son a loving brother, a caring friend, and above all, a fine human being. He was senior here at Lawrence High School at that time. He was an excellent student and an outstanding soccer athlete. Since his loss, my family has been honoring his memory by offering scholarship to, to a senior uh, each year. And this year, the award goes to Christopher Price. Thank you very much. Good luck to you, Christopher. And we also want to thank Lawrence High School staff for managing this Kamal Bathala Memorial Scholarship Funds and helping us selecting appropriate candidate each year who retains the qualities that Kamal used to have. Thank you very much. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Sergeant Rose, and I am a representative um, from the United States Marines. Um, first off, I want to congratulate um, all the um, senior graduates from 2014, 2015. Congratulations, guys, because um, not too many of the folks like, have not made it that far. So I want you guys to give yourself a round of applause, please. And um, real quick before I begin, um, I'm not a good speaker at all, but you know, I'm just speaking my mind right now. So when I first come here, I've been here um, for about like three months. And then Lawrence is one of the school that is signed to me. When I first come here, I saw all those flags. And um, that reminds me of something. That reminds me when I first got to the United States, because I'm from Haiti. Um, my parents told me, son, you can be like anything you want in this country, like beside for president, because you weren't born here. So, <laughs> so I want you guys that have that opportunity, those of you guys that were born here, or even those of you that came here as an immigrant like myself, do not take what this country has to you know, offer for granted. Like, like, unlike me, I didn't have these great opportunities that you guys have over here. Not at all. Back to the islands, like, things are worse. Like, worse, worse. If you guys are complaining how you guys get it over here, I, I don't know what to say. Wait till you go back to the island. Um, without no further ado, um, I have a couple of awards. Um, the first one is Distinguished Athlete Award. And that, um, the Marine Corps Distinguished Athlete Award recognized senior athlete 
to have played over their head with a nerve die um, say attitude and we recognize the adage when the going gets tough, the tough get going. Um, ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome um, Mrs. Sabrina Pascarella. And Mr. Camille Zender, please. Second award goes to uh, Mrs. That one's French, so I should be able to pronounce as well. It is Mathilde Giselle Wu. So, Ms. Giselle, you better be able to speak some French with me up here. Last one, I have Mrs. Um, Caroline Daprish. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Have a great evening. Good evening, everybody. Is that good? Thank you very much for allowing me to be here. I'm here the last few years to give the Captain Lynn Scudelero Memorial Scholarship. Lynn was a student at Lawrence High School, graduated in 1996. She still has the record for the most triples in softball. She went on to the University of Colorado. She was in the ROTC program and uh, she graduated and she became a Black Hawk helicopter pilot. So no ladies say that the men do it all because she did a mission in um, Iraq for one year. Um, it was my daughter who's giving the scholarship, Lynn Bailey Sabatini her best friend, and uh, to be the maid of honor at her wedding. Um, unfortunately, Lynn met an accident a month before the wedding. So um, we miss her dearly, but um, she was an amazing woman. Uh, she uh, came back uh, from uh, overseas, and her job was to work with the people coming back, make sure their families were um, getting along. She was a overall wonderful young lady. We were very proud of her, we're still proud of her. And um, I get to give this award because um, my daughter keeps having children. And uh, this year we just had another little girl and uh, so she's home with the baby in Virginia and I'm here. So uh, hopefully there's no babies next year since she's back. But um, I would like to give this award. Uh, 
we get to choose who we give it to. And uh, twice, this is the second time now, I get to give it to a sibling of a student that I pumped to know what she was going to do. And uh, she's going to go into the service and she's going to be a nurse. And uh, very proud of her, known her for a long time. And her sister, Lauren, was the first recipient. And I'm really excited that it's Gina Gutierrez. Good evening. My name's Dennis Waters. I'm the Lawrence Township Historian, and I'm here to present the Lawrence Historical Society's Winona D. Nash History Award. Winona Nash uh, was, the late Winona Nash, was a township historian here in Lawrence for many, many years, and set very high standards both in terms of studying and educating the people of Lawrence about the great history of our township. And she was particularly interested in the education in the Lawrence Township Public Schools. And so the Lawrence Historical Society, in order to honor her, uh, set up the Winona Nash uh, History Award, which is presented to a senior who has been nominated by the faculty and demonstrated excellence in the study of history. And this year, that award is going to Jacob Berga. Jacob, I don't need, mean to put you on the spot, but perhaps I am, do mean to put you on the spot. Are you, are you planning to major in history? Yes. He is planning to major in history. <laughs> Very good. May I present you with the award and your summer reading. <laughs> Thank you. My name is Jessica Sincotta, the assistant principal here at Lawrence High School. I'll be presenting the, the next award. The Lawrence Township Policeman's Benevolent Association Local Number 119 Law Enforcement Award is presented to a senior who is dedicated to achieving academic excellence and plans to pursue a degree in criminal justice. This award goes to Joanna Wolf. <laughs> I'm honored to be here to present the Friends of Sonny Niktakis Award. This annual award was established in memory of Sonny, a fellow member of the class of 1993 who passed away in August of 2000 after a seven and a half year battle with cancer. It is presented to a student who embodies Sonny's attributes, academic success, courage, leadership, compassion, loyalty, and integrity. Sonny left a tremendous mark on everyone with whom he came into contact, and he represents what is remarkable in the human spirit. I would like to present the Friends of Sonny Niktakis Award to Jean Adele Tego. Fisher. I am the Director of Health, Physical Education, and Athletics for the Township, and I was the 
um, assistant principal before that, and I will be presenting the Baha'i Faith Excellence of Character Award presented to a student who, through her daily behavior, most exemplifies virtues of trustworthiness, honesty, humility, kindness, and service to others. Congratulations to Hannah Cohen. Next, I will be presenting the Baha'i Faith Race Unity Award presented to a student who actively works to bridge gaps and foster relationships and unity between all races. Congratulations to Marie Liani Nicandro. Good evening. My name is Chris Denny, and I'm here to present the Leah Denny Memorial Award, named for my daughter, Leah, who was a cardinal uh, through and through, a dear and good friend to all who knew her, a wonderful student, and a steward of uh, this earth. And uh, after her graduation from Swarthmore, she worked in Boston at the Urban Ecology Institute, working with inner city youth and the environment. So. This evening, it is my extraordinary pleasure to present this award to Jacob Varga. Good evening and congratulations, graduates. For those of you who do not know us, I'm George Ann Carnavali, and this is my husband, Tom. Our son, Thomas, who attended LHS and graduated with the class of 2005, passed away in 2008 in an automobile accident. His brother, Michael, was critically injured in the accident with a traumatic brain injury and pulled through remarkably and graduated from LHS in 2010. Thomas attended the School of Visual Arts in New York City for one year, studying graphic design and advertising at the time of his death. He loved all forms of art. It was his existence. We are very, very fortunate that he left us with the legacy of his hard drive, full of artwork, pieces we are still discovering that we never have seen before. It's like Christmas Day whenever we open his new work. He had original visions. His creativity flowed. He was told a few weeks before his death out of several thousand graphic designs produced at the school, pieces were picked for a book and a graphic of his was chosen. He was so excited and proud and so were we as his parents. He was living his dream. This evening, we are granting two scholarships one for the Department of Art, and the other for a student continuing his or her education in the arts. My husband, Tom, will grant the first to the Department of Art. 
Ms. Welsh, could you please come up? Thank you. It is with great pleasure that the board of this foundation grant the Lawrence High School Department of Art the seventh annual Thomas J. Carnevale Jr. Art Grant. All students deserve an education in the arts. It's humanity, creativity, and thinking at its best. Social and economic situations should not limit their success at school. All art programs in every school deserve and should demand increased funding. Since its inception of donating to the high school, we have granted the art department $1,500 each year. It is our honor this year to present you with a check of $5,000 to assist future art students <laughs> who need who need financial report, support for materials and supplies. In addition, this grant can be used to purchase anything else that will further enrich your art department. We have confidence that you will use this money to better the department and success of its students. Please accept this donation in honor and memory of our son, Thomas. Thomas had a great understanding and appreciation of the arts. He truly believed that art could change the world. Thank you for helping students who someday will change the world in their own way with their own visions. My wife will now present the scholarship to the senior to continue their education in the arts. Ms. Welsh. Thank you. Thomas believed art for change. This holds true for many artists, and this holds true for you, our winner this evening. It is evident in your writing to this foundation. We hope this scholarship will assist you and is a catalyst for your vision. Your writing to this board was very deep and insightful. A quote by you. By surviving as a form of expression purely by the aesthetic interpretation of the artist and the beholders, Art single-handedly can change the expression of history. With aesthetic direction as a mouthpiece, feeling is such expressed in a way that other forms of expression cannot convey with such clarity. Your pieces submitted to the foundation, New York and New New York, were perfectly executed in my opinion. Photographically and named, the essence of what you were conveying in your pieces were spot on. The movie poster was aesthetically pleasing and complete. And yes, I did read your hipster love story fine print, directed by Shakespeare, special effects, a bored teenager, and edited by some underpaid moron. You think we didn't catch it all, but I did and I loved it. You already have made your mark by being the second place winner in the New Jersey Skills USA State Pin Design Contest this year. Congratulations. Continue your search and journey with your art. Keep true to your convictions and follow the rules that will be taught to you in higher education. Once you know them all, break the rules and become your own artist. It is with pleasure we grant this $1,500 scholarship to Adara Daubert. Thank you very much. Good evening. Uh, my name is Jean Musi. I am an elementary teacher here in the district. And like everyone else here tonight, I first want to say congratulations to all the seniors. This is such an incredible time 
um, in your life and in your parents. So um, soak it up. Just enjoy every single moment. I am here to present the Lawrence Township Education Association Scholarship. This award is presented to an accomplished young man or woman whose parents or guardians are members of the Lawrence Township Education Association. And it is my pleasure to present our award to Sujay Shetty. Thank you. Good evening. On behalf of St. Luke's Episcopal Church in Ewing Township, New Jersey, and the Reverend Mother Thomas, and the scholarship ministry of this church, we are very proud to present Olu Bukula Abba Sharon for her outstanding commitment and service at our church and educational <laughs> an educational scholarship award in the amount of one thousand dollars. <laughs> May you accept the challenges to become the best that you can be. Congratulations to you and all your classmates. Good evening. My name is April Reed and I am here to represent the Grand Chapel AME Church Memorial Scholarship Committee. On behalf of our church, our pastor, the Reverend Bernard R. Bird Jr., our co-pastor, Reverend Dr. Melinda Contreras Bird, we would like to honor and give our award to Ms. Kyla Allen for her consistent participation in our church and influence on our young adults. Good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is David Spaulding, and I represent the uh, Eggers Crossing Civic League. We've been serving the, um, the Lawrence community for the past 49 years. Um, the Eggers Crossing Civic League Loveless Kelleher Scholarship is presented to a senior who has shown outstanding leadership skills and community service. And this year is awarded to Jeffrey Garcia Sanchez. Good evening, everyone. My name is Doris Beisberg. I'm here to present another Agates Crossing Civic League Award, this one in memory of my husband, Dr. Jerry Weisberg, to a student is going on in some field of science. My husband was truly the American dream. He was born to immigrant parents in a poor section of Brooklyn who didn't even speak each other's language. Thankfully, through the grace of the, of the GI Bill of Rights, teaching fellowships, and taking five years off to work, he became a doctor. He a was a founding member of the American College of Emergency Room Physicians, and till, till he was well into his 80s, donated his time in a free clinic to serve the underserved. It is my pleasure to give this award to a young woman who was going to go into medicine. Her name is Chind Chindama Wachuwaka, and I'm sorry. Congratulations and good luck. The Eggers Crossing Civic League has an additional award, and this Eggers Crossing Civic League Thomas Anderson Award is presented to a senior who has shown outstanding leadership skills and service to the community, and this year is awarded to Mariah Chester.
Hello, I'm Faye Lopez. I'm one of the assistant principals here at Lawrence High School, and I am not Mr. John O'Neill. He could not be here tonight. And I will be presenting the next award. The Jerry's Autorama Art Awards are presented to graduating art students who have shown the greatest improvement in technique over multiple art courses. And these awards go to two seniors, Alexis Rhodes and Alexia Thorpe. Good evening, everyone. I know you expect to see freeholder Pat Calavita here tonight. Uh, he's doing something else tonight in the county, and I am freeholder Ann Cannon, and I am doing this tonight. We were going to share the evening, but um, it's my pleasure to be here. We do this all across the county at every single high school in Mercer County. We uh, give a scholarship of $1,000 for the first year and the second thousand dollars if the student completes satisfactorily her, the first year and uh, we've been doing this for about almost 20 years and um, it's most gratifying we get to see uh, it's like a slice of America we get to see such outstanding young people and it and it sure is uh, exciting to be here tonight with you and I wish you all the best and uh, you bring the future you're the future for us so I want to congratulate you on tonight and what you're going to go on and achieve in your lives. Tonight's um, awardee recipient, um, we don't choose them at uh, the school. The schools select the person and um, we get to see the bio. I read the bio for this young person and it was most uh, exciting and she is so, uh, I meant to tell you that uh, the person has to be going to our Mercer County Community College, but I want to congratulate all of you. But tonight, uh, here in uh, Lawrence Township, is Marion Kwan. Hi everyone, my name is Rico Scardaletti. I'm the president of the Lawrence Hamnet Soccer Association. Um, unfortunately, Seth Blatter could not be here tonight. Uh, I am a proud graduate of Lawrence High School, and for that matter, LIS and Eldridge Park. I'm also a former player in the Hamnet organization, a club that has produced some of the best players in the state for a long time. But no one perhaps as successful as Glenn Muchmarnik, after which some of these awards are named after and whose spirit uh, applied to all of them. Mooch graduated in 1972 after winning two state championships. He went on to Hartwick College where he was named Collegiate Player of the Year in 1976 and then went on to a professional career with Dallas and uh, the U.S. men's national team as a player and its captain. And then coached the Colorado Rapids and was also an assistant coach with the U.S. men's national team coach at the time of his death about six years ago. Mooch had high standards and incredible work ethic and was the best friend you could have. Uh, the six seniors tonight we will honor tonight uh, exhibit many of his qualities. Before I award the Hamnet uh, Scholarships Award, uh, I also have with me Steve Groger and Dave Pasquito, who will have, have separate awards. Dave will do the Chris Calavita Awards, and Steve will do the Ashley Forker Award. Mooch, Dave, Chris, Steve, Ashley, myself, we're lucky to be part of a great soccer legacy uh, in Lawrence. Steve? Good evening. Uh, this is the second year for this award and I'm honored to award these two scholarships in honor of Chris Calavita. Uh, for those of you who are not familiar with Lawrence soccer and its long tradition, 
Let me give you a quick history lesson. From 1968 to 1980, Lawrence played in 11 state championship games, winning seven and winning another one in 1994. Like most young soccer players growing up in Lawrence, Chris got his start in soccer playing in the Tom Hamnett League where he developed his passion for the game. At Lawrence High, Chris was a three-year starter for legendary coach Lou Angebrandt. As a senior, he served as captain and led the Cardinals to the Group 2 uh, state championship title. In recognition of his leadership and soccer talent, Chris was selected to all county, all area, all state first teams. As good as a soccer player that he was, Chris was even a better teammate. Chris was undoubtedly one of the best soccer players in Lawrence High history. He continued his soccer success at the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, where he earned all ACC honors and served as team captain his senior year. Chris's accomplishments off the soccer field were also remarkable. Chris joined New Jersey Manufacturers Insurance Company in 1986. He rose to the office ranks at NGM through his 26 year career. In 2008, he was elected to the board of directors and ultimately senior vice president. In 2010, Chris unfortunately was diagnosed with cancer. The next two years, he fought a very courageous battle against this horrible disease. He tragically left us in March of 2012 at the age of 49, leaving behind his wife, Micah, and daughters, Madeline and Natalie. These two scholarships this evening go to Maeve Humphreys and Ryan Canavan. Okay, the, uh, the Hammett Awards go to uh, Matteo Aparicio. <laughs> and Sabrina Pescarella. First, I'd like to congratulate you all. Um, you are the best and the brightest. Uh, graduating this year, going on to your careers and, and your further education. It's been a pleasure for me to be here uh, for several years, uh, making uh, particularly the, the uh, Ashley Forker Award, but the first award, uh, as, as uh, Rico had mentioned, we remember Mooch Myrnick, Glenn Myrnick. Uh, but not only was he a great athlete, a great coach, a great player, but Mooch never forgot where he came from. He would come back to town, he would help out with the Hamnets, he would run clinics, because he felt very strongly about community. So this year's award winner embodies that, and that's Andrew Francisquiti. Our final award um, is for Ashley Forker, who was still very young when she passed away, but she had a love for the game, as all of our award winners tonight do. She may not have been the, the best player on that team, but she was a team leader. She knew how to get the most out of not only her game, but those of her teammates. And this year's winner is Stephanie Adamsick. So I left them up here because uh, two more players will have a full soccer team to go. But just very quickly, uh, what they've done is remarkable. Stephanie, strong, these, and these are the comments from their coaches, a strong defender who frustrated many CBC top forwards, 
tireless worker, a leader on the field with her vocal play and dominant strength. Stephanie will attend the University of Delaware um, in the fall. Andrew, uh, another strong defender, ability to really keep the team organized, an effective leader with not only how he plays the game, but how he communicates it. Andrew will be at the State University of New York. Uh, Maeve, a four-year varsity player, team captain this year, a midfielder who epitomizes what it means to work hard and to have the dedication and discipline that she exhibited was an inspiration to her teammates will attend the University of Virginia. Ryan Canavan. Uh, earned his spot as an outside defender this year through hard work and determination and personally watching him so tenacious and a bit fearless against much bigger opponents. Uh, great job. Was voted the most improved player this year and won the Kamal Bethea Award. Ryan will attend Drexel. Uh, Mateo, first uh, time on, on the squad, but uh, quickly became one of the standouts and was voted team captain early in the season. At the end of the season, he was in the MVP. Uh, center midfielder, good technique and vision. He was also uh, earned votes for honorable mention uh, at, at the, on CVC. And uh, last is Sabrina, four-year varsity player, team captain, uh, leading scorer, and ended her career with, uh, you know, just, just 29 career goals and nine assists. She was two-time Mercer 33 recipient, all CVC, third team selection, all, all state selection, and Central Jersey top 20 All-State selection. Her coach describes her as simply a powerhouse with speed, technical skills, and vision. And she will be playing and attending the University of Keene in the fall. Let's give him a hand. So just on a personal note, I know all, all six players have watched them and all these in games and training, it's really a thrill for me to have watched them grow and develop. Coaches know, teachers know, bosses know that interested players do what is convenient, but committed players do what it takes. So I hope that you put yourself out there, struggle, learn, accept every challenge with energy and determination, and don't be afraid. Because the beautiful thing about fear is that when you run to it, it runs away. On behalf of the Lawrence Hamlet Soccer Association, I would like to congratulate our six seniors and all the award winners tonight. We wish you best in your future. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Caring, confident, dependable, extremely enthusiastic. These are some of the attributes that I look at when I choose someone for the Sunshine Club Award, which is our social club that's here. I think about it long and hard for the whole entire year, so I do put a lot of thought into it, and I do see the children a lot during the day. Four years ago, a fresh-faced, freckled-faced, red-headed young student came up to me, proceeded to extend her hand out, shook her hand, introduced herself. I said, my goodness, that girl is going to go places. And she has, from peer leadership to um, National Honor Society cheerleading. She exudes the qualities that I look for someone who would be representative of Sunshine Club. And with all that said, and she probably know who's, knows who she is, the Sunshine Club Award goes to Marifred Evans. I'm here to present the Lawrence High School Leadership Awards. They're presented to seniors who, through their outstanding student service and leadership, have positively influenced the students of Lawrence High School. 
We have six awards and they were nominated by the student leadership advisors. I'm one of the advisors for the program at the high school. And these awards go to Danielle Brackett, <laughs> Gwyneth Kerbishley, <laughs> Nate Lacombe, <laughs> Matt Molineros, <laughs> Adele Togo, <laughs> and Mott Williams. Good evening, everyone. I'm Doreen Welsh. I'm a school counselor here at the high school. And on behalf of the rest of the counselors, Ms. Coben, Ms. Gonzalez, Mr. D'Angelo, and our new supervisor, Mr. Fiera, we'd like to say congratulations, and we wish you all the best. The first award I have is the Lawrence High School Career Awareness Awards. And they are presented, if I could see, presented to graduating seniors who have demonstrated outstanding achievement in career-related skills during community work experience. And these awards are presented to Jonathan Homer, <laughs> Sean Pismenov, <laughs> and Rosalie Rodriguez. Sorry, I can't see you guys. Nobody's here? Okay, moving on. <laughs> okay, this is a really good one. All right. The Lawrence High School Student Council Awards, what else could I present? Are presented to graduating students for exceptional dedication to both school and community. And before I tell you who they are, in case you don't know, um, Mrs. Ryan stole some of my lines, but our president, who's been with me three years, I first met in eighth grade, and it was the same deal. Hi, I'm, I'm this person. Nice to meet you. I already told you who it was. Anyway, it's been a real pleasure. She's dedicated, motivated. She's gotten some things done that I never thought we'd get done this year. So, Mara Fred, can you come up, please? Okay, next on the list. Um, she's the last one in this family. I've had this family forever, for 10 years, and she kind of got roped into student council. But I'm very ha happy to have her. She did a great job. I love her sarcasm and her dry wit. And that award is presented to Han Cohen. <laughs> Wait, I got one more. One more, sorry. Okay, the last one I haven't had the pleasure of working with the past one year, but she's been a definite asset to us. She's always smiling, always helpful. And this award is going to Simi. I'm going to do this right. Srini Vossen. Okay, the final award I'm presenting tonight, I'm kind of changing hats. This is from our Mercer County Professional Counselors Association, which is comprised of all the counselors in Mercer County. 
and um, we offer various scholarships. And we've done this through the years to the tune of some $75,000. So without further ado, I would like to present this award to Nicholas Diefenbach. We're recognizing Nicholas as a senior whose determination is displayed through his academic achievement. And we know he's going to Johnson and Wales, and we wish you all the best. Thank you. All right, I will be presenting the Lawrence High School Yearbook Award, and I just want to say that I got to see the yearbooks. Seniors, you'll get to see them on Monday, seventh period. They look fantastic. Um, the Lawrence High School Yearbook Awards recognize seniors who have contributed most significantly to the high school yearbook. And they were sweating it out today. And they are Stephanie Adamchek, <laughs> Melissa Pesca, <laughs> and Leanna Smith. Good evening, my name is Stephanie Jari and I'm an English teacher here at Lawrence High School. Um, first, I'd like to congratulate everyone on your awards and also congratulate your parents. Um, tonight, I'm not here as a teacher, I'm here as a Lawrence resident and as a member of the Women's Club of Lawrenceville. And I'm here to present the scholarship for the Women's Club of Lawrenceville. Um, the Mary Darwin Heath Scholarship Award um, has been uh, given for 77 years. It was initiated by Mrs. Heath, who was a faculty wife at the Lawrenceville School. Um, this is a scholarship of $2,000 per year for four years. And it's awarded to young women, uh, poor high school seniors and residents of Lawrence Township. The award is paid annually towards uh, tuition fees and other expenses uh, at the universities that the recipients attend. Among other criteria, the committee considers the applicant's academic standing and outstanding character. This year, an exceptional young woman was selected after a rigorous application process, which included personal interviews. She will attend Loyola College in Baltimore in the fall. She's looking forward to studying ethics and politics and using her talents to restore confidence in our country's government. If anyone can do it, she can. This young woman exudes energy. I believe someone stole my word. Exudes, okay, for the same person. Exudes energy and talent. She spent all of her high school years on the varsity cheerleading squad and on a, in a number of other organizations uh, and contributed greatly to the school. She absolutely lit up the room during the interview. Uh, it, there was really no doubt. On behalf of the Mary Darwin Heath Memorial Scholarship and the Women's Club of Lawrenceville, I am pleased to announce that this recipi the recipient of the scholarship is Mary Fred Evans. Congratulations. Good evening. My name is Jayashree Kalvichwala, and this is Julie Crutchley. Uh, we are board members of the Lawrence High School Middle School PTO. And the Lawrence Middle School High School PTO uh, awards are presented to seniors in good, standing, good academic standing who demonstrate a positive spirit, plan to continue their education, and whose parents or guardians are actively involved in school activities. And these awards go to Meredith Bloomberg. Congratulations. 
John Moriel. Colleen Van Voris Norton. And Joanna Wolf. Thank you. Good evening, everyone. At this time, I'm here to present the awards for the Lawrence Intermediate School Parent Teacher Organization. These awards are presented to seniors who have attended Lawrence Intermediate School and have maintained a high academic average. This year's awards go to Sarah Horn, and Roderick Macho. The Slackwood Elementary School Golden Heart Awards are presented to seniors who attended Slackwood Elementary School and have continued to show their use of their golden hearts throughout their time in Lawrence Township Public Schools. This year's awards go to Kyle Dougal, <laughs> we have a few here so I'm going to run through them all, Kyle Dougal, Jake Eastman, Morgan Slutsky, and Colleen Von Voorhees Norton. The Lawrence Elementary School Parent Teacher Organization Awards are presented to deserving seniors who attended Lawrenceville Elementary School and have maintained a high academic average. These awards go to Matt McCormick and Sarah Rosenau. Good evening. I have the honor to present several other PTO awards. The Ben Franklin Elementary School Parent Teacher Organization Awards are presented to two seniors who attended Ben Franklin Elementary School and have distinguished themselves at Lawrence High School. We have two award winners, Lindsay Jorgensen and John Bobbin.
Next, we have the Eldridge Park School Parent Teacher Organization Award, which is presented to a senior who attended Eldridge Park Elementary School and plans to pursue, pursue a college degree in education. This is awarded to Sarah Weber. Next, we have the Christine Karwowski Memorial Scholarship, which is presented to a friendly and deserving senior who is always ready to lend a helping hand to others. This award goes to Brandon Blackshear Bell. Um, we're going to be presenting a several different awards all over the place. So first, we're going to start with the Garden Gate Garden Club Norma Friedborn Scholarship, which is presented to a graduating senior who has demonstrated an outstanding interest in horticulture or environmental studies and who is an active volunteer in the community. Congratulations to Deanna Hamill. Next is the Ann Fowler Memorial Scholarship, presented to a former student of Ann's who has demonstrated an extraordinary determination and commitment to achieving academic success and who plans to continue her education. Congratulations to Colleen von Voorhees Norton. Next, I will be presenting the Lawrence Township Junior Baseball Softball Association Awards. Presented to senior baseball and softball players who plan to continue their education, have showed a commitment to academic and athletic excellence, and who have participated in the LTJBSA. There's going to be several awards. Uh, first one to Sarah Blimowitz. Sarah up here, I do want to also recognize, um, since I am the AD, that she not only is winning this award, but also crushed the school record for strikeouts this year by over 100 strikeouts. So congratulations. <laughs> the other award winners are Sonia Borlaug, <laughs> Ryan Canavan, and Jacob Fusel. And the Lawrence High School Advanced Photography Award is presented to a senior demonstrating outstanding achievement in the area of photo manipulation. Congratulations to Erica Brosha. All right, next will be the Lawrence High School Art Award. Um, it is presented to the senior who has demonstrated excellent in the field of art, and this award goes to Emily Pham. Okay. 
Next is the Christine Stockton Art Award and is presented to a senior who has demonstrated excellence in commercial art and design. And this award goes to Adira Dalbert. The Bruce Harrell Art Award is presented to a senior who has demonstrated excellence in the visual arts, and this award goes to William McBride. <laughs> and the Lawrence High School Excellence in Pottery and Sculpture Award is presented to a senior who has demonstrated excellence in pottery and sculpture, and this award goes to Naomi Pitts Reynolds. As a former music teacher, I'm very honored to present some of the music awards this evening. The Lawrence High School Choral Awards are presented to students who have demonstrated excellence in vocal music and technique, as well as leadership, commitment, and an extraordinary passion for making music. These students are always striving to approve when, uh, improve when others might settle and are the first to volunteer to take on extra duties and performances to help classmates and to put in the extra effort that makes every performance great. This award goes to Chad Costa and Amanda Peterson. Next, we have the Lawrence High School Concert Band Awards, which are presented to students who have exemplified themselves as musicians and leaders. They are dedicated to their craft, have a driving desire to perform at the highest level, and take great pride in the advancement of others and themselves and the ensemble. Their talent and attitude is infectious and has earned them the respect of their teachers and peers. This award goes to Carolyn Daprich, Matthew McCormick, and Sarah Weber. The Lawrence High School Orchestra Awards are given to seniors who have demonstrated the highest level of dedication to the ensemble and skill within their discipline. They strive to advance themselves and the ensemble, and their efforts have inspired their peers and helped grow the orchestra into the ensemble it is today. This award goes to Nathaniel LeCompte, Ro Roderick Macho, and Sean Titus. Congratulations. 
and finally, the Lawrence High School Red Scare Awards are given to seniors who have set themselves apart as performers and leaders who always perform at the highest level and with great consistency. They show the ability to take control and guide the ensemble in rehearsals and performances and were voted into their positions as leaders, which speaks volumes to the respect they have earned from their peers. They are excellent examples of what it means to go above and beyond. Congratulations to Morgan Slutsky and Samuel Snyder. Good evening, everybody. My name is Damien Barriexa, and I am the Instructional Supervisor for Fine, Practical, and Performing Arts here in the district. And it is my pleasure and my privilege to recognize a number of seniors who have excelled in our technology and business departments. The Lawrence High School Drafting and Design Award is presented to a senior who has demonstrated the highest level of proficiency and dedication in the areas of drafting, 3D modeling, and architecture. Congratulations, Kyle Dougal. The Lawrence High School Robotics Award is presented to a senior who has demonstrated excellence in the field of robotics. Congratulations to Camille Zander. The Lawrence High School Cisco Academy Award is presented to the senior exhibiting the highest level of performance in the Cisco Academy. Congratulations, Brennan Critelli. The Ruth Ellingham Memorial Scholarship is presented to a senior who has demonstrated the highest proficiency in business education. Congratulations, Kush Patel. The Lawrence High School Computer Applications Award recognizes the senior who has demonstrated the highest level of proficiency in computer applications. Congratulations, Lindsay Jurgensen. Okay, uh, finally, we have four recipients for our next award. The next award, the M. Elizabeth Cordwell Scholarships are presented to seniors who have achieved academic excellence in business education. Congratulations, Shama Ali. Congratulations, Chris Will Lavery. In order. Congratulations, Chris Will. Congratulations, Magic Lelanuski. Thank you. <laughs> and congratulations once again, Kush Patel. <laughs> Thank you, good evening, and congratulations, seniors.
Good evening, everyone. Thank you for coming. Not only congratulations to our seniors, but of course to their parents and guardians who have been with them through this journey. My name is Yvette Panasowicz, and I'm the supervisor for math and science here in the Lawrence Township Public Schools. I'm here to present the Rocky Maruka Mathematics Award. This award is presented to a fourth year math student who has displayed genuine concern for others and have achieved high level of success in mathematics. We have two recipients for this award this evening and the awards are going to Olivia Davis and Shay Lipskin. The Lawrence High School Mathematics Award recognizes the senior who has demonstrated the highest proficiency in mathematics. This award is going to a lone floor. The Einstein Physics Awards are presented to graduating seniors for excellence in the study of physics. We have two recipients for this award this evening, and they are Jenny Chu and Carolyn Daprich. The Sonia C. Sonia C. Kramer Excellence in Science Awards are presented to seniors who have a strong aptitude for science and plan to continue their education in the science field. We have two recipients for this award, and they go to Maeve Humphreys <laughs> and Nathaniel LeCompte. The Lewin Hoke Biology Award is presented to a graduating senior for excellence in studies in the biological sciences. The award is going to Olivia Davis. The Avogadro Chemistry Award is presented to a member of the senior class who has demonstrated outstanding ability and motivation in the study of chemistry. This year, the award goes to Sean Titus. The Hubert Alea Chemistry Award 
is presented to a senior high in a senior in high academic standing who has shown great enthusiasm in chemistry and related science fields. This year, the award is going to Nahali Latvia. Good evening. My name is Barbara Beers. I'm the Supervisor of Humanities. And the first award uh, that I will give tonight is for ESL, English as a Second Language. And it's presented to a senior enrolled in the ESL program who plans to further education and has attained a high academic average, has displayed motivation and progress in mastering the English language. Um, Mrs. K could not be here tonight to give this out, but she wrote a, a brief letter. She says, this student looks like a typical, beautiful senior at Lawrence High School. She is, however, the most determined senior here, I'm sure, and has the strongest will of any young woman she has ever taught. She came here as a sophomore from Guatemala with almost no English. She has been through much adversity and has overcome every obstacle in her way. She has worked two jobs after school and has gotten precious little support for continuing her education. She has taken care of herself by herself. She has been determined to finish high school and go on to college from day one at Lawrence High School. Many teenagers would have given up and crumbled under the weight of the pressures she has been under, but she took on each challenge, whether academic, emotional, or social, and has persevered and conquered them all. She has made Mrs. K a lifelong admirer. It's my pleasure to give this award to Ashley Monteroso Carrera. The James Semptonfelter Memorial Italian Award is presented to an outstanding senior who has completed three years of Italian and has demonstrated the qualities of, qualities of scholarship, sensitivity, and humor. And that is Nicholas Heiner. The World Language Award for Latin is, is awarded to a senior who has demonstrated dedication and excellence in the study of Latin, and that's awarded to Roderick Macia. The World Language Award for French is presented to a senior who has demonstrated excellence and dedication in the study of French, Vanessa Conde. The World Language Award for Chinese is, is awarded to a senior who has demonstrated dedication and excellence in the study of Chinese. Tonight, that is Dorian Armstrong. Congratulations. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>
The World Language Award for Spanish is presented to a senior who has demonstrated excellence and dedication in the study of Spanish, Matthew McCormick. Now, the English Department Awards, the Lawrence High School Literary Appreciation Award is presented to a senior who has demonstrated excellence and appreciation for literature throughout multiple English courses, and that is Roderick Macia. The Lawrence High School English Award recognizes a student in the graduating class who has demonstrated the highest level of proficiency in the study of English, Criswell Lavery. And for social studies, the Lawrence High School Social Studies Award recognizes the student in the graduating class who has demonstrated scholastic excellence in social studies. Congratulations to John Bobbin. The Lawrence High School Historical Society Award is presented to a senior who has excelled in the study of history. This is getting to be a habit, Roderick Macia. John Withers was a teacher um, at Lawrence High School who retired a few years ago, and his award is presented to a senior who has demonstrated outstanding community activism and political involvement, Marifred Evans. <laughs> Ruth Bills was also a teacher at Lawrence High School, and the award in her honor is the Citizenship Award presented to a senior who has demonstrated exemplary citizenship and scholarship, and that tonight is Sujay Shetty. Sorry, folks, it's a bit of a walk. I'm Tom Irvin, media technician for Lawrence Township Public Schools. And today I'm going to be presenting, among other things, the Len Walker Award. Len Walker held my position many, many years ago. I won't tell you how many. Uh, he was uh, actually honored in the Lawrence High School Hall of Honor. If you look at the plaques on the wall, you'll see his picture there because of his dedication to the school district as well as to the community. Every year we present this award in his honor to a student who has followed his ideals and uh, pretty much lived up to the way that Len would have wanted it in the way of serving the district through the field of media services. The student that we are honoring tonight actually has uh, in addition to do doing things like announcing on TV, running cameras, running lights, running sound, he's actually given up his senior out to lunch privilege this year and come down to the district media center to work 
every lunch period this year, editing programs to be put on TV. This year's honoree is John Morial. All right, I have one more award to hand out here, and John's going to help me with this one. Uh, the district media crew, of which John is a part, uh, is comprised of people doing some of the jobs I just listed that John was doing. Uh, very short story for you. I'll keep it short because of the lateness of the hour. Uh, the beginning of one of the past school years, uh, our guidance department put on one of their many beginning of school meetings. And we supplied a technician who was no longer a senior. It was one of the underclassmen. And as an underclassman, he made a couple of minor mistakes. The next morning, the phone rang, and I got an earful about it. And one of the questions was, why couldn't I have the person who did it last year? He did such a wonderful job. My response was, I trained him for four years, and you let him graduate. <laughs> Well, you've done it again, and I'm losing five more wonderful, highly trained, skilled technicians, but my loss is going to be society's gain. So the District Media Center awards go to Jared Stewart Cook, Adira Daubert, Aaron Floyd, John Morial, and Christian Solage. John, can you hand these out? Jared, don't go anywhere. Christian, Aaron, and John, you get another one. Thanks. You get another one, and there's more. It's like Christmas time up here. Adira, Aaron, John again. Thanks. Christian, and Jared. Okay, we'll put this down. Everybody post for Benny. Congratulations, class of 2015. We'll see you in two weeks at the sunset. Uh, good evening, everyone. Uh, I'm Dr. Chiva. Uh, first of all, I'd like to give a huge congratulations to all of you seniors uh, on your accomplishments. Uh, you are embarking on quite the journey, and you have many adventures ahead of you. Um, when I graduated from here in 2009, um, only six years ago, um, I left with many cherished memories, and I'm sure you are too. Um, I still very vividly remember Mr. Rowe and Mr. Wolf's uh, rather animated reenactments in history class. Uh, Mr. Davis's many uh, pontifications that usually ended in, uh, but I digress. Um, and Mrs. Randall for res rescuing me from a capsizing canoe twice uh, during the Pine Barrens trip. Uh, I've never gotten to a canoe since. Uh, so what I'm here today is to present to you the Thyra Praveen uh, Valedictorian Award. Um, I've named this award after my mother uh, because she has been the most influential and supportive person uh, in my life. And I'm sure many of you, or all of you, have someone like that in your life as well. And I just want, you to, I just want to remind you to take a second to thank that person for getting you where you are today. So without further ado, um, I'd like to invite to the stage a very, distinct, a very distinguished individual um, who has been awarded the highest academic honor that Lawrence High School can award, which is the valedictorian of the class of 2015, Ms. Linda Liu. All right, cat's out of the bag. Linda's our valedictorian, if you didn't know that. All right, 
Congratulations. I'd like to present an award on behalf of the Lawrence Township Principals and Supervisors Association of which I am a member of. <clears throat> it is my pleasure to offer this award to someone whom I have known for many, many years and I think very highly of. It is a scholarship that is presented to a senior who is in the top quarter of the graduating class who displays exemplary leadership ability and interest in public service. Someone who I've known for many, many years since they were very, very young and I've always held in very, very high regard. At this time, if you would join me, this award goes to Erica Levin. Hello, everybody. Uh, my name is Rick DeFalco. This is my wife, Peggy, and uh, Sarah and Will, my kids. Twenty years ago, my friend Bob Funk and I had the immense pleasure of meeting and starting a long friendship with Ralph Dobrich. Ralph was a very private individual. He worked as an engineer. He enjoyed computers, music, and photography. He was extremely bright and possessed a cutting wit. Ralph was one of those individuals that always seemed to be standing on the outside, never quite fully comfortable in his own skin, and certainly never receiving the appreciation his talents truly deserved. Ralph helped teach us to look past the facade of a person and to take the time to really know someone and see all they have to offer. He helped us to understand that friendship requires effort and that trust must be earned and not merely expected. Ralph showed us how sad it is when a life is lost too soon and potential is left unrealized. We lost our friend to cancer in 2007. The Ralph, Mo Ralph Dobrich Memorial Scholarship this year will approach the $400,000 milestone in total awards, with over $125,000 of that total being distributed to LHS seniors over the last six years. Ralph's scholarship works to help support those individuals that we feel have the potential to truly make a difference, to let them know that they are appreciated and that we believe in them and what they can accomplish, to let them know we have faith that they in turn will one day carry the spirit, spirit forward. We'd like to call the recipients at this time and please stay up here once you run up. Adara Daubert. Elizabeth Hernandez. Alexis Rhodes. Evelina Trukel. Colleen Von Voraz Norton. And Majane Williams. It is our utmost pleasure to award the sixth annual Ralph Dobrich Memorial Scholarship recipients with the nice round sum of $4,333 each to help them start their college careers. <laughs> Have faith in your own abilities, inspire those around you, and continue to make us proud. Thank you. Congratulations. Okay, we're getting down to it. And 
you've been a great audience so far, all right? Long night, but a great night. So many people who are willing to donate their time, their money, their resources to support our kids. So I thank all of our donors, all of our scholarships. How many did we give? We are on our way towards, well, we, we are pushing 90, I think is where we will be, and that's a tremendous piece. And the last award that had just passed is something, it's, a, it's an extremely generous uh, scholarship and award. It's my pleasure every year to see, to see Rick DeFalco and his family come and support our students with that. I mean, I've always, I've always said that, I think, did, did Rick, there he is. Rick's got the best hair. I mean, I'm telling you, man, he, he really do. He cut it, though. You cut it, and I almost didn't recognize you, but I'm, I'm envious, see? I mean, I've still got it in my head, but it just doesn't have that kind of oomph to it. So, all right, but thank you to you and your family. We sincerely appreciate it. Every year, you've been so wonderful to us, so thank you. Um, at this time, I get to present the Lawrence High School Principals Award. So I'm the principal, so I get to do that. <clears throat> now what I'm going to do this year, traditionally this is something that gets awarded to one student, but I felt since I can do what I want with this award, <laughs> that we're going to give it to two students. The idea behind it is that I wanted to look at our students in this class, not just in the traditional ways that we see from time to time when students receive scholarships or awards, but to see something deeper as well and to really go for that type of thing that may not be so obvious to people. We have a tremendous amount of leadership in our senior class. We have a tremendous amount of dedication, a tremendous amount of commitment, work ethic, and so on and so on. If you would join me in recognizing our first award for Lawrence High School Principal Award, presented to a senior who through her outstanding student service and leadership has positively influenced students, faculty, and administrators of Lawrence High School. And to be honest with you, this has been the case since this young lady was at Lawrence Intermediate School. This award goes to Maeve Humphreys. This Lawrence High School Principals Award is presented to a senior who has demonstrated a determined and enthusiastic spirit, a dedication to athletics, and a tremendous commitment to academic improvement. And as I mentioned before, this is something that I have noted in this young lady since the days at the intermediate school as well. If you would join me, this award goes to Victoria Piazza. Now we have a number of very talented academic young men and young women in our senior class. And what I'd like to do at this time is recognize, in recognition of being selected as an outstanding participant in the 2015 National Achievement Scholarship Competition. This is a National Achievement Scholarship Competition. It's extremely extensive and extremely prestigious. If you would join me in welcoming to the stage Chidinma Wachuku. Yeah. All right, now staying with within the field of the National Achievement Scholarship competition. Now, 
being selected as commended students in the 2015 National Merit Scholarship Competition. Again, this is another scholarship competition. It's nationwide, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six students who are recognized in this capacity. I'm extremely proud to present these awards to, as I said, there are six, so stay with me here. Caroline Daprich. <laughs> Olivia Davis. Neil Galatkar, Deanna Hamill, Nate Lacombe, and Roderick Macho. All right, the following young men and young women, young woman, are being recognized as finalists in the 2015 National Merit Scholarship Competition. All right, this is a huge honor for these three people. So if you would join me in welcoming to the stage, please, Dorian Armstrong. Yeah. Linda Liu. And Sean Titus. Thank you. I'd like to recognize our top 10 academic students, the senior class, students who have worked for the past four years in terms of exemplary academic performance in the classroom. And I have to tell you, I mean, four years is a very, very long time, and this is an extremely talented group with an extremely strong work ethic. So, if you would join me, we'll do it in alphabetical order. But we'll call out number one and number two. Just because you guys have to speak at graduation, so you have to get used to like, yeah. All right, you don't have to speak tonight, it's okay. No. All right, here we go. Jenny Chu. Our salutatorian, Olivia Davis. Alone Floor. Maeve Humphreys. <laughs> Erica Levin. <laughs> Our valedictorian, Linda Liu. <laughs> Chidinma yeah. Wachuku. Matilda Rue. <laughs> Kabir Suri. <laughs> and Sean Titus.
All right. I just want to take a few quick moments just to make a few closing remarks to you. I want to congratulate our group, our seniors, on a fantastic year, on a fantastic four years. And I also want to thank you. You've made the last four years of my professional life the most blessed life, the most blessed experience that I could have working with all of you. So I want to thank you for that. But there are two pieces here. What I wanted to say in the very beginning, I think when Pete Radis was our first uh, presenter, he mentioned something about my com uh, common sense uh, approach to leadership. And I, and I wanted to share, do you want the secret of what you guys need to do as you get older in order to figure out how to be successful and make good decisions? It's very simple. Don't complicate your lives any more than it needs to be. But what I tend to do, and I'm serious, is before I make a decision or before I do anything, I ask myself, what I'm about to do, would an idiot do what I'm about to do? <laughs> and if the answer to that question is yes, then I don't do that thing. It's very simple. It's a guiding principle. It will carry you far. Trust me. All right? My assistant principals know that that's true. Sometimes, actually, I don't listen to my own advice, but either way. Uh, but listen, I wanted, I was thinking, you know, we've got a couple more opportunities with each other in a, in a large setting, graduation being the last one in, in two weeks. And I've been trying to think about some of the things as far as what to say to all of you, and there are tons and tons of them, and I, and I really have been trying to figure out, like, what to touch on. And, and one of the things that, that, that jumped into my head a while back, it, was a, it came from a movie that's about 25 years old, back when I was in high school myself. And although at the time I didn't really get it in watching the movie because, you know, there weren't any car chases and there weren't any things exploding all around me when I was like 17 or 18. But it was a movie that really touched on a number of things related to teaching and learning and growth and how to go from being a young kid to being an adult beyond what content you were learning in class that the state or the powers that be say that you need to take or you need to learn. And the movie was called Dead Poet Society. And if you haven't seen it, I recommend that you take a look at it. Understand the context, however. It's set in 1959 in a New England prep school. It's extremely conservative and you have a number of young men who are going to school. Robin Williams is their teacher. You're probably familiar to some extent even though you've probably never seen it, right? There's a critical scene well, the whole idea goes way beyond test scores, goes way beyond grades. It's about figuring out who you are, what life will mean to you, and what you will do with the potential that exists within each and every one of you. There's a critical scene in the movie where they're reading a poem that begins, and, and Barbara knows, I'm sure. Gather ye rosebuds while you may, old time is still a-flying. And this same flower that smiles today will someday soon be dying. Now, our school is pretty young by high school standards. We're just coming up on our 50th anniversary. So some of the people who graduated, even in their first year, and I don't know if Steve Groger is still here. There he is. <laughs> Steve was one of our founding members, Mr. Groger, class of 68. All right. So what I will say to you, so the people who even graduated in the first class are really not they're not that old, right? <laughs> Steve, since you retired, I meant to tell you earlier, I mean, you look great. You look younger than me. Seriously, like you've been at the spa for three months or so, but you look fantastic. So I'm sure that retired life is treating you very well. But what I want you to do is take a moment to walk through our Hall of Honor and grab a yearbook from the library and take a look at the people who decades ago were the same age as you, who as 17 and 18 year olds were very much the same as what you are despite the differences in years. They were filled with unstoppable sense of promise, a sense of invincibility, the idea that they were going to take on the world, destined for great things like all of you. And you have to ask the question, this is what Robin Williams speaks to his students as they're looking at pictures in the hallway. Did each person who came before you that went through this school make from their lives so far even one iota of what they are capable of? And the next question 
is will you make even one iota of what you are capable of as you get older? My point is for all of you is to make your lives extraordinary. We all have limited time in this world and on this earth, and you have to gather ye rosebuds while you may. Because someday, decades from now, a new generation of Lawrence Cardinals will be the ones sitting where you are, and you will be sitting where Mr. Groger is sitting, where Rico is sitting, any number of our alumni. And they will be looking at your pictures in the yearbook. And they will be asking the same thing about what you did with your lives in terms of your potential and your capabilities as you've gotten older. I know what your potential is and I know what your capabilities are. You are the ones, however, who have to go out and do it. We love all of you and I hope that you recognize that. It's our job to hold you accountable but let you know that we care about you. We want the best for you as you get older. But now and after two weeks, it will be completely in your hands. So I ask for all of you, make your lives extraordinary, seize the day, and gather ye rosebuds. Thank you guys, enjoy the evening. It's been my pleasure for being with all of you for so many years, so please enjoy your evening, spend time with your families tonight. I thank all of you for being here. We do have some refreshments in the back. Somebody save me a cookie or two, all right? All right guys, good night, take care. Thank you.